Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here. I'm a little tired right now, but I just felt like posting up a video for YouTube, so figured what the hell, let's go over USB cables and whatnot. So I'm going to be showing you guys sort of how to uh, make your own USB powered fan. So, in this case, you're just going to be using a fan, a computer fan. This one's 12 volts, uh, preferably if you can get your hands on a 5 volt fan, uh, that would be ideal. And what you need is, other than that, is a USB cable from some device that you don't want or that's just sort of sitting around. I know this one's pretty long because it's from a keyboard, which I broke the keys off and I'm really too lazy to find wherever the keys went. So, yeah. So I'm just going to plug this into my computer here. Uh, and... Here we are. Fan lights up and gets going. This is a 80 millimeter fan, uh, double bearing, so you know it's got LEDs as well. So um, it's only running on 5 volts, so it's not going at 2,500 RPMs. But you know, it makes a nice little breeze and uh, looks pretty nice. Now, of course, you can also go with a junky one here. This I just took from a shitty Core 2 Duo computer of mine so yeah and the way I've got mine set up is you can easily unplug these like so and then just plug in another fan sorry if uh, a bit shaky I have to record with my phone cause I have no idea where my camera went so um, just plug this in and here we go, we got a 120 millimeter fan going here. And it is going a lot stronger on the 5 volts compared to the other one. And it is also a lot louder because it's a shitty fan. It's not, uh, uh whatever you call it, uh, fuck, my brain just blanked out there. Um, double something, fuck. <laughs> Anywho. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. And, um, you know, just fuck. Well, I guess I'll just unplug this. <sighs> so, USB cables are a lot simpler than you'd think. They're very, very freaking simple. So, you know, if you have a basic knowledge of uh, electronics, just in general, it should be fairly easy to figure out. So, as you can see, I've got the red and the black ones hooked up red to red and black to black and I've got this connected to a four pin or what was a four pin adapter I think I've got it here I just cut it up and splice the wires a little bit it's just a four pin to a three pin you know for the fan comes with most fans if you wanna buy one and uh, yeah not too hard to find you don't really need to do this, um, I just did it this way so I could easily swap out the fans. And uh, basics are red to red, black to black, and the USB provides 5 volts of power. And the amperage, I believe, is dependent on um, the sockets or wherever you plug it into. Like, here is a 3 volt or a 3 amp one. I notice it doesn't really make much difference, the amps. For some odd reason, you know, I'd sort of expect that it would go faster on the higher amp sock or plugs, but doesn't seem to be. Anywho, if you don't have this little four-piece adapter, which is spliced, you can also just directly connect it to this little thing here. Uh, we have our black and red, so red in the middle, black on the side. It's very self-explanatory. Just plug it in, you know, stick the wires in. Um, if you want, you can cut this off, but I really do suggest that you just go ahead with this 4-pin adapter if you can find one. And you don't need to use any solder or anything, so it's pretty good. I was lazy, so I just used electrical tape. Anyways, I'll explain the other wires here. We have a white and green wire that's for data. So those are positive and negative. And it's sort of neat how it works. They just, you know, it's like turning a switch on and off, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, the the USB device just 
um, turns on and off the currents for these uh, white and green ones really rapidly doing zeros and ones and whatnots and that's how the USB devices work it's sort of ingenious how simple it is and uh, there's another one the silver one that's just ground um, the older USB devices won't really have the silver one but uh, yeah that one's pretty obvious because it is not uh, insulated so you know anyone who knows anything about wiring will know that the one that isn't insulated is obviously the ground wire and if you have multiple you really should have fired your electrician so yep that's pretty much it and uh, this is Hot Noob here please come check out my blog at hotnoob.com and I'll see you guys later